All right, hello everyone. Uh, this is my sketchbook tour. Ba -bam. Sketchbook I had. Oh shoot, that's my phone number. October first, twenty twenty-two. So right now it is June twenty twenty-three. So less than half. No, less than a year. I usually put my phone number in my sketchbook just in case someone finds them and they can return it to me. There's no stickers on the back. This is art creation, royal talons. I, it's the same as this one, but this one's smaller. It's, it's like half the size. So if you guys are interested, it's 80 sheets as well. These stickers, this one, the only one where it's like kind of important where it's from is this one. It's from um, Judged Arts. I think that's their name. Um, on Twitter and on Instagram and on Tumblr. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh sticker. Yu-Gi-Oh GX sticker. This little winged Karibo. And here I got from the painting club at my school. I was the vice president of the UBC painting club. And the rest are like my melody and these ones are horrible. They always come off and there's like hairs under them because they don't like stick properly. So yeah. And the my melody ones are see-through, whatever. All right, so these both pages are taped in. I don't like taping in things, but I don't know. I don't like drawing on the cover of the sketchbook either. So I think this is the one time it's acceptable. I don't, I hate when people tape things in usually. Um, but, like, no offense to anyone who does, it's just my preference. So these two, or these two pages were done in painting club in my school. We were teaching people about watercolor and the different techniques you can use. And this page is gouache. We had a gouache workshop and we were teaching people how to paint mushrooms. This was another gouache workshop. Mine is really bad, as you can see, but I didn't follow the president when they were teaching. I just went on my own. This is a sticker I got from going to like an event for playing Vanguard. These are done in marker. It's it's zone from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, and this is Bruno or Antinami from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. They're done in Copic marker. I like this part here. When you layer the markers, it looks good. But yeah, the sad part about markers is that they bleed to the other page. So on the other page, I have to do gouache or pastel uh, to cover it up. So this is supposed to be shark, but it's so messy. It's so ugly. This one's supposed to be Yuma, but it's also not great. But I like how like expressive it is. These were for Inktober prompts, so I think it was like Graveyard and like Vampire or something. This is Yubel from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. They're like sitting in a graveyard with like t tombstones, I guess. Um, I could do better now. This is from the beginning of October, right? So... Oh yeah, I don't date anything in here. I probably should. Yeah, I could definitely draw better now, anyways. This is Camula from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, or it's supposed to be in like a hat because the theme was vampire and she's a vampire. So this is done in pastels, but in really cheap pastels. So it doesn't like really come off as much. It's just Judai from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And this is Alito from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. Um, I like his hair here and his expression and the colors. Uh, this is done in uh, pencil crayon. This is Bruno. We were at the beach actually. This was a painting at the beach event. So uh, we were at the beach at UBC Rec Beach and I was painting some water themed things. So yeah, it's Bruno um, in a tube, like those water tubes in the ocean with like a hat, sun hat. And Judai on a jellyfish. This is just Judai really upset. <laughs> I could draw better than this now. It looks a bit weird over here. This 
this is another one from the painting on the beach event so i drew like a sunday i guess it's a bit tilted but it's fine this was all an art club i drew or painting club um i think at least but i was trying with perspective you can see like a, a rectangle there and here i think the perspective is really good on his feet and there's yugi judai yubel This page is pretty cool, I think. Um, the drawings themselves aren't the best. Like, this guy looks really weird. But I like the colors a lot. So these are done in oil pastel. But the cheap ones. So you don't need, like, super expensive ones to, like, continue. I know a lot of people really like the Crayola ones. I think these are Pentel ones. Uh, yeah, so this is Three or Trey, I think is his name in the English. From Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. I have Judai eating a bowl of ramen. This is done in marker, Copic marker at my painting club. This is done in oil pastel. So for the for the Copic uh, coloring, I actually didn't have a skin tone. So I used the cream color from the page for his skin tone and also orange and yellow because that's all I had and blue for the shadows. And as you can see for the hair, I had to use red, and then I went over the red with green to make brown over here. I like how vibrant this one is. Okay, so yeah, you can see it's seeping through. This page is Johan and Judai, Judai, Yuma. Yuma looks really weird, but it looks more 3D than usual. His neck is way too thin. His face is too wide. So yeah, this is done in my expensive pastels, Sennelier's. This was just a still life I redrew in pencil crayon. Um, it doesn't look the best, but it's okay. And this is Yuma. I tried coloring in uh, my expensive pastels, the Sennelier's. This was from Yuma, this black. Um, so the page here is all messed up from this page because the, the pastels are so juicy that they transfer to the other page sometimes. Not sometimes, all the time. So there is a drawing here if you can faintly see it, but... This is me practicing angles. It's completely off. This is also off. I like this one. He's just sleeping. There is a drawing here, but I covered it up because I thought the U-Bell, human U-Bell looked way cooler. And I love this drawing actually. I did it even though I didn't have a skin tone color, so that's cool. I just used like red and yellow and orange. So this is done in gouache. It's pretty bad. <laughs> um, I was still learning about gouache. Oh, here I redrew the drawing, I guess. I completely forgot about this. So I drew this. His head's way too big, it says. And then I redrew it almost one year new. I like it a lot, the new one. That's really cool. I didn't even remember doing that. <laughs> this is supposed to be from a top-down angle. Just a person, some more realism, but not really realism. And Judai. <laughs> Johan and his abs. This is Judai upside down, making an A. Another Judai. This one's really bad. This U-Bell page I really like. I think it's good. The chibi U-Bells and the up angle for U-Bell. This was for Painting Club. We were doing a, a portrait study event. So we were trying to teach people how to draw portraits. Uh, on this page I have Pac-Man Judai and Ghost, Judai, and Johan in one suit. I don't know why I drew that, but it's cute. I really like this page. So it's Bruno from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and Dark Magician Girl from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's both done in um, Sennelier oil pastels. So as you can see, the 
the pastels transferred to each other, which it was probably a bad idea to draw two pastel drawings on the same uh, page spread, but I don't really care. This is all just for practice, right? Sketchbooks are about practicing, not like preserving exactly. His skin tone's completely off. As I mentioned, I didn't have a skin tone color and this, this time it just went completely bad. <laughs> so just ignore that. This is Yubel from, oh yeah, this is 4 from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. This is Yubel from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. I like the emotion in this one. Yubel and Judai and Johan. His hair is really cool, the greens. But it's hard to do smaller drawings, like his head's only this big. It's hard to do smaller drawings in oil pastel because they're so thick. Like you don't get a sharp point or anything. Okay, this page is really bad. I gave her an extra finger by accident. Can you see? That's so funny. And I tried to color it and I just hated it. And then here I drew something behind and then I hated it. So I just colored, painted on top with my remaining gouache, um, Dark Magician Girl. This is Yubel. Um, kind of like a human Yubel, I guess. I like the eyes. And the shirt and the hair is okay. This is uh, three from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. Um, there's something behind this done in marker and the gouache I guess is a bit thin so you can see it coming through. So this, these wings are not his but it's fine. I don't really care. As I said, this is not like archival stuff. This is just for practicing. This is also gouache. This is uh, Copic marker. Yubel and Judai, and this is Yubel. I was obsessed with Yubel at this time. I'm still, I still am, but you know. This is Johan. Today's actually Johan's birthday, so happy birthday. And we got Yubel over here. The eyes, I was gonna go back and fix it, but I just forgot about it. I don't really care. Um, gouache. I was way too late, like, I was way too impatient to like, wait for the paint to dry, so that's why there's paint over here. But this is Yuma, trying with different angles. This is Judai eating some ice cream, done in gouache. This page is really bad. I tried to draw a skull from memory. His chin is way too small. This eye is good. The head is kind of bad. Yeah, I was just trying to draw things from memory. This circle is even bad. Like, and this face is, looks kind of weird. This is... Keita and Whisper from Yokai Watch. This is Judai giving Johan a pantsing. And this is all planning for that one video I have on my channel. Um, the sad one about Yubel and Judai. The love me, love me, love me. That's the song. There's more planning. This is Placido from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Just more Placido. I just like Placido. He's awesome. This is done in Copic. This is done in acrylic gouache. That was my first time trying it. This is a really bad drawing, but it's fine. Um, just practice, right? I'm really bad at painting skin tones even still. This is also Yuma uh, drawn in Copics. Here I decided to not color anything on this side because I already have a charcoal drawing here and the charcoal transferred over here. So I'm like, if I drew something on here, it would just get all messed up. So yeah. So I have two skulls. I like these actually. These were done in charcoal. In a hand. Um, I looked at reference for these. That's why they're way better. Always use reference. Okay, I hope these are okay to show. <laughs> but these are figure drawing. So it's artistic. I went to a figure drawing class. It's a session where there's a naked person in the middle and then we all sit there and draw the naked person for three hours while they pose. Uh, if you have a figure drawing near you, I really recommend trying it. Um, it taught me a lot about anatomy. Here's some weird stuff. Ignore it. <laughs> I tried to erase it. So that if people saw my sketchbook, they wouldn't be weirded out. Oh yeah, my blue marker is so goopy. Like, it's my Copic marker, but it like explodes all the time. 
This is Edo Phoenix. This was for a commission I was planning. Uh, Bruno, Edo, Judai, Mondrome. More planning. Yubel. Vector. This is my friend Gloria. I just decided to draw her. Um, this is Judai and Johan rock climbing. This is more figure drawing. These were 30 seconds each. One minute each. I bought newsprint after this. Like, newsprint is big, thin paper that you can use charcoal and stuff on. Um, not archival, really, but it's just for practicing. Because I didn't want to fill my whole sketchbook with figure drawings. So many figure drawings. And a Judai. And a little guy. So we got this character. I guess it was supposed to be an OC, but I never drew them ever again. This is my actual OC road. My only OC actually. That I still have. Judai, Judai, show. Okay, I think I did these on stream, but it's supposed to be Hatsune Miku and supposed to be Bruno from 5Ds. It's just really bad. Um, I used some really bad pastels, and these were worse than the Pentel ones, I feel like, so they're really bad. Again, no skin tone color, no skin tone color. Um, yeah, the Sennelliers didn't come with a skin tone color for the oil pastels. Um, as you can see, they transferred over to each other. These are both done in oil pastel. I don't really like either of these. I hate this one. I hate this one. This one's fine, I guess. But this one sucks. <laughs> oh yeah, this page is also kind of bad. <laughs> so, we got some girl. Half finished. And we got some sketches. And on the other side, there's a marker drawing. So that's why it's seeping through. But it's mostly Yuma and Vector. I love you. And they're kissing. Okay, sorry about this. <laughs> um, it's Vector and Yuma. Vector and Yuma. This is just some comic practice. I was copying some Pixiv artists, so this is not my own. I mean, I drew it, but I just copied mostly. Um, this is Judai saying, yo, that's sick, and shut up, Bermanjome, shut up, Dillweed, they're still here. Huh? And he gets so close. This is Dual Academy. More comics, just learning to draw Judai better. This one's really good, the rest are not that good. This Manjome is really good, I think. Ignore what's going on in the top corner. <laughs> foot. I'm not a foot girl, <laughs> but I just decided to try to draw it. Uh, there's Mark Grender here, as you can tell. This is Luffy. I never draw Luffy. I don't really care for One Piece, but I tried. This vector is good. So I got Copic drawing, all Judai, Johan. Yugi in, um, oh shoot, Yugi in oil pastel. So yeah, we got Judai. I went back and colored this like the other day. So I colored it the other day, but I drew it a while ago. There was a really bad drawing here, so I was like, screw it. That's why I colored it on the other side. Um, more Judai. I like this hand here. It's got a lot of movement. <laughs> Judai in a bunny suit. 
<laughs> Ignore this. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know. I hope the sketchbook there is okay. Judai and Yubel. <laughs> I drew Hisoka and gone. Oh, this is Yusei. This Yusei is pretty good. These are just some sketches. This was, I guess, a self portrait. I don't know. A shoe. Practicing realism. This is chalk pastels. When I got my chalk pastels. And some Judai. These I drew just for my head, so that's why they're not the best. Chalk pastel. These were some studies of some sculptures or whatever. Just some sketches of Judai and other characters. I tried to do realism, but I have a problem with making their them look old. Like, this is supposed to be a young woman, but it looks like an old woman. I think it has to do with the wrinkles. I draw them too much. Uh, this is just some guy. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. It's a sculpture or something. It's painted in gouache. I love this page. Cats and dogs. This dog looks really scary. It looks like a horse almost, to be honest. I like this dog a lot, and this cat. This one's my cat, actually. I even have her ear cut, because my cat's ear is cut. These are done Copic. Wait. That's why I had to do gouache on this side, and gouache on this side. I hate this one. Like, I don't hate hate it. It's just, I tried to do it realism, and... Uh, the skin tones are completely off. I'm really bad at skin tones. Here it got muddy and desaturated, too. Painting is not my thing. So these all I did on stream on TikTok. If you guys want to see my TikTok, um, it's the same username. It's at my NK. I stream on there like every day. Um, so there's a lot, a lot of Judai, Judai. Here it says, always keep bad art, especially in your sketchbook. So I drew this. I didn't like it. I redrew it. If you If you do that a lot, you'll get a lot better. You can use your first drawing as a rough draft. This is Judai as a DJ. Judai in a suit. Judai eating. Judai with a bike. Judai with roller skates. Roller blades. Wait, is it skates or blades? I don't know. I like this one a lot. It has a lot of emotion. I like this one too. This is Naruto. Uh, Johan. Hee <laughs> hee. This was a guy from my uh, stream. He wanted me to draw him. This is Judai doing Johan's pose. These I drew at the public library. Um, I was just sitting there waiting for an event to start. So Judai eating a watermelon. Judai really hot. Judai with some flowers. These were done in pen. In my Copic pen. Yeah, just sketching, not really thinking too much. I like this dog. I drew it for my head and this cat. And this Johan's pretty good. And this Kaito. And this Kaito. And this Alito. He has his hair parted. Oh, this is my OC. Road. This is supposed to be self-portraits. Can you tell? <laughs> it doesn't really look like me. It's me from 2020, so I've changed a lot. I gained a lot of weight, mainly. Oh, and these... wait. These were done in pencil crayon. This was planning for a commission. They wanted a character design. Um, this is starting requests, so I don't usually take requests, but if I reach, like, a goal on my live stream, then I take requests, so... We got Guzma, Emma from, from Promised Neverland, Demon Slayer characters, Sasuke, Asuka, a bunch of characters. Yeah, some more Demon Slayer, Stitch, Helga, like just random characters that people wanted me to draw. A minion. 
Um, you can't really see this. It was done in pencil crayon really lightly, but it's Gustav Courbet's um, self-portrait. Portrait of a desperate man or something like that. And this one, Girl with the Pearl, you guys must know it. Um, I just drew it in mark- not marker, like a marker pencil- pen. This one I did in pen. It, his eye is kind of off, like it's way too much to that side. Should be over here. This is also a famous portrait of Lucian Freud. This is a dog. Judai. Judai. Mona Lisa. Some random thing. This is a gouache to cover up the marker Judai. This I went to the public art gallery in Ontario, Toronto. Toronto, Ontario. And yeah, I was just drawing what I saw. So there's a painting of this girl. And there is this painting of Mary by Sassoferrato. I don't know. It's I like this one. These were done with my new pencil. The what are they called? Prismacolor Coal Erase. So it's an erasable pencil crayon. These ones were done on stream. Um, I was trying to practice realism. I did some tutorials, not really good ones, but I did one of a hand and a character, but then I wanted to draw it in my style, so yeah. There's more streaming stuff. So a strawberry, a person, another person practicing. These are, this page is all sunflowers. Oh shoot, this transferred, but um, this is more in the coal erase pencil. Um, so it was RGB's birthday on uh, my live stream, so I drew them a girl. They wanted a girl without eyes and long hair. This one I really like. I drew uh, realism and then I, I drew it again, but in my style. This is a skull and some guy in like the skull's position, I guess. Um, it's done in Draw something. 